of the First Nation. I would like to express my gratitude for your gracious welcome and for your willingness to host this very important gathering. And I would like to, um, to convey my, my gratitude and my deep respect for all the paddlers that have participated in this journey throughout the last several days. I know that uh, Alexander Martin and various leaders have traveled throughout the interior to, to bring this vital and important message to many, many communities. And as we stand here together, literally shoulder to shoulder, I can't help but reflect on what's behind us. Uh, the ripple effect. <laughs> because that's exactly and precisely what's happening here. At long last, our elected political leaders, both federally and provincially, our indigenous leaders, our grassroots people, our spiritual leaders, our elders, are at long last coming together to protect one of the most precious gifts that we have in, in this part of Turtle Island. And of course, that's the wild salmon. And I really honor all of you for, for having the courage of your convictions and the, the deep commitment to day after day after day uh, meet the challenges and make the sacrifices that you have made to play a part in this very important journey, to convey this message to the general public, to governments, both federally and provincially, internationally, it takes a long time to build a movement. And I reflect back on the 60s and the 70s where there was uh, tremendous movements throughout North America, political movements, uh, social consciousness. And I really miss those days. But um, I'm just so encouraged to, to know and understand that that, that that spirit is reawakening in all of us. This is not an indigenous issue alone. This is a, a, an issue for, for all of humanity to, to understand, as Joan has said, how precious this resource is. It's a gift, a gift from our Creator that indigenous people have honored and celebrated since the beginning of time. And all of us have in some small way allow governments and industry to jeopardize this precious resource and now we're reclaiming our voice and we're, we're coming together. I had the, the honor, Joan and I, Joan and I have been together for over 30 years now, 33. <laughs> and it was, uh, the, um, it was the Indian movement that brought us together, that sense of responsibility for our children and grandchildren. That's what sustained our relationship, and that's what brings all of us together. I have so much respect for you, Alexandra, and the, you know, the um, countless hours that you put into this issue. And I encourage you to continue. Your vision and your voice is so critically important to Wild Salmon. And I believe that the awareness that, that did not exist uh, a few years ago is beginning to arise. And this is beginning to attract um, a great deal of attention, as it will tomorrow. Um, there are certain things that we can all do as ordinary people. And, you know, as mundane as it may sound, those little postcards are important. <laughs> you go home and uh, sign them and throw them in your nearest mailbox to get that voice out there. Because governments always tell us, well, we don't hear any chatter out there. Yeah. You know, this is not of real interest to the general public. So I once again commend all of you for all of the good work that you've um, you've done over the last several years, and it's beginning to to pay off. It's beginning to to have the desired effect. And I am a great believer in things happening when they're meant to happen. And I believe we're at that time, and that's why all people are coming together, not just here in British Columbia, but throughout this country and across the continent. There's a, indeed a reawakening of the human spirit. And it's just so humbling to be a small part of that journey. And I think
thank you for your vision, and I thank the political leaders for their support, and I thank all of you for being here today on behalf of your children and your grandchildren and those yet to come. Bye. Amen. Yeah.